see everybody. I'm down here at uh, 31st Street or Avenue in Thomas. We got some kind of special event going on. I think they're giving away food. Or something but they have the road all screwed up you got the uh, military here St. Mary's Food Bank giving away food. They got hundreds of cars pulling in. Hundreds. They've got it backed up from here to 35th Avenue and then all the way down to uh, McDowell. So I guess it's some kind of food giveaway. Now, instead of uh, instead of doing this down at the uh, fairgrounds or something, someplace that can handle all this traffic, they've got it backed up all the way from here to 35th Avenue. Which is about a mile, mile and a half down this way. And then, and then they're paying these officers. They got an officer stationed about every hundred feet. To direct traffic. every hundred feet at least. They have an officer standing there watching traffic. See, about every hundred feet. Not even. And all these people are pulling in. These are officers that are either being paid overtime or they have to have something to do because they're under investigation. And the, the officer stands there and makes the money sign. But you can see they've got them backed up. And they have an officer about every hundred feet. So we're talking probably 45 or 50 officers. I saw this when I was making the delivery and I thought it was uh, really bad that they actually have the whole road. They have one lane 
and it's backed up all the way almost to the highway. See guys, every hundred feet or so, they got an officer standing. So our Governor Douchey, Governor Douche. Oh, that might be a... <laughs> A hit. Hey, stop. I guess the car turned the wrong way. But what made me come down here, guys, is right here. You can see the because of this bullshit, there was a injury accident here. A bad one. Because of all this bullshit. And <laughs> now they're making the car go all the way back or something. Because they made a left turn, they got the uh, the ladies with water coming down to get top water. But uh, that's why I came down here, guys, because of the accident that was here earlier. It caused an accident with injuries because of all this bullshit. I mean, it was a bad accident, but you can see they got it backed up all the way to 35th Avenue. And they have a cop about every 100 feet. Directing traffic. So yeah, I wanted to come out and show you. You can see down there at uh, 35th Avenue. Right there, it's a red light. It goes around the corner and it goes all the way down to I-10. This line of cars. And they're coming in to get food at St. Mary's Food Bank. So I wanted to show you guys all this. This is, uh, they could have done this over at the uh, fairgrounds. The fairgrounds are only only two, about two miles from here and it can handle all this traffic, but they, they gotta clog up the damn road. And you can see the debris over there from the accident. You like what you see? She's, she's got an eyeball. <laughs> she's got her eyeball on the Cobra. She's checking out the Cobra. Well, you can see guys, I myself think this is a bunch of bullshit. They could have done this different. All these officers being paid to do this overtime and we're paying for it. But we'll walk back down here.
it just irks my blood all the money that they're spending to do this and I guarantee it's approved by our office our governor douche mr. governor douche You like what you see? Guys, we got one of those. <laughs> Boy, they they hate somebody with a camera. Now, as I walked by earlier, she was the only one that waved. She didn't mind the camera. This is just a total, total mess up. And I wouldn't have done this, but as I did my uh, pickup, I came out here and there was a really bad accident there with injuries, bad injuries. And it's because of this. So they're pulling in here, going in the back, picking up food, which is good. You know, I, I highly believe if they need food and St. Mary's has the food, then by goodness, they should get it. But all these guys here are volunteers but you can bet your sweet ass these cops aren't volunteer. They're being paid. But all these people here are volunteers. you sign in if you walk in yeah this is the uh, the walk up you walk up here sign in prove that you need food and they hand you these bags which is good guys now I like that but they could have done this at the fairgrounds At the fairgrounds, they could have handled all that traffic that they got backed up. And they probably wouldn't have needed as many officers. They have at least, at least 40 officers. All these folks here are volunteer. But the police officers you know 100% sure that they are not volunteering. This is the exit. But they pull in here. <coughs> they hand them the bags of food and they go out the back side there we'll head over there I mean I'm I'm really glad that they give the people the food that need food Go 
They got this closed off. So they go in, get their food. I think they give them a couple of bags of food. And then they come out the backside here. I just wanted to show you. There goes some more volunteers, guys. They got security guards sitting at these entrances so people don't pull in and park and then walk in. They go in the other side, they get their food, and they come out this exit. And then they go back to the road and go on their way. But this is it, guys. But they could have done this a, a lot different a lot different if they'd have done this at the fairground they wouldn't have had all that backup out there that's our governor douche guys I'm gonna end this as soon as I get down here I just wanted to show you guys what was going on down here at 35th Avenue and Thomas it's in between 31st and 35th Avenue and they have it backed up all the way to at least McDowell Road to make the corner on Thomas I think this is an undercover vehicle. Nope, it's his personal vehicle. It says crazy grandpa. <laughs> That's it guys. That's what they're doing. really glad that uh, St. Mary's is giving out food to people that need it but uh, I can almost guarantee half of the people pulling in there really don't need the food so the spitting cobra out here in Phoenix I'm gonna call this one I'm out <laughs>